thank you so much. Thank you for making my dreams come true. I always wanted to do that, and you guys helped me to achieve it. Thank Is this you. your first entrance on a Broadway stage? Yeah. 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 Well, welcome. Thank you so much. Nice to have a fellow South Carolinian oh, on yes. the show. Oh, what town are you from now? Oh, my God. St. Matthew, South Carolina. A little tiny speck in the middle of nowhere. That is, is it, is it a stoplight? One. One stop. Literally one. one. What is? What's the biggest town near? Was it uh, well, Orangeburg or something like that? No, we know Orangeburg, and then there's uh, Charleston, which I think you're familiar with. Sure, Charleston. sure. That's my hometown. Yeah. He's from the big city, folks. Big city. He's got like restaurants in his city. We have like nowhere to eat. You eat at someone's home. You don't eat out. <laughs> That's how it works. So did you guys come down to Charleston? We came down. My brother went to the Citadel. Okay. Yeah. So we come down and eat, and uh, we dine out, which was big a big deal for us. We dine out like twice a year. That was huge. Mm -hmm. You know. Well. So you play a su superhero now. You play Luke Cage. Yes. And you have to stay superhero size all the time. Roughly, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. correct me wrong, Luke, Luke Cage's powers are, he's just he being can, strong. He can, he's really, really strong. Uh, unbreakable skin, uh, Unbreakable skin. Unbreakable skin. So bullets can't stop him. Not nope. a chance. Not okay. A chance. And yeah. anything else? What else? Uh, can't burn him. You can't, uh, you can't freeze him. You know, like this theater, it's really cold. He could take his clothes off, no problem. No problem in here. No problem. Don't let us stop you. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> well, so, uh, now, you, I, I shook your hand and gave you a slap on the back as you came by, and it's like slapping a brick wall. You, <laughs> do, were you always this big? Did you play sports, play football? Well, you know what? No, I was a nice model size before I got this role. I was a nice, uh, lean, lean fellow. Um, I put on about 35 pounds for the role. Um, yeah, yeah, hard work. And when I, when I was in school, I played at least one year of every sport, basketball, football, uh, and I ran track. And, and I realized that I wasn't good at any of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not, not, not good enough to, to play them. But, How old you know. were you playing football? Like, Ooh, about oh, 12, or I say 12. Yeah, I hit a guy really hard at one point, and um, I almost concussed myself. So I realized that's not a good that, sign. No, no, wasn't that's not good. a good sign. Wasn't good. Now, Luke Cage, um, I've got one question for you because mm -hmm. I actually have, from my childhood, I have a Luke Cage comic okay. right here. There I have this one. We've got a scan of it right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Luke Cage was originally called Luke Cage Power Man. Power Man, yeah. The same way it's like Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man, mm -hmm. it was Luke Cage Power Man. Yes. Are you Power Man? Well, we sort of changed it a bit because I think we took a survey with a lot of folks and Power Man just wasn't hitting. It wasn't really connecting with the audience, so we needed something else. So we went with the Carl Lucas, Luke Cage. So we, we have a test audience. I think that's what they do. Don't you guys agree? Test audiences are very important. Yeah? Yeah. We want to know what you guys think about what we call our shows, and we thought that Luke Cage was better than Power Man. Um, and here he's fighting an evil villain called the Steeplejack. The st <laughs> The steeple steeple Jack. Jack, he's a guy who shoots hot rivets Ooh. out of a gun. <laughs> so I actually have the dialogue here. If you wouldn't mind acting out with me, I'll be Steeple Jack if you could be Luke Cage. So okay. I think that's your line right there. All Ready? Right. Okay, shoot this and we'll, and we'll act out the scene. Ready? If you could do that. There you go. Here's where you take a death plunge 40 stories down, hero man, courtesy of the <laughs> Steeple Jack. Not if I can help it. But maybe I can. Well, you took that very, you took that very calmly. I did. A guy, a staple guy, staple man, what is his name? Staple Jack. Sta staple. It's not staple Sta guy. Staple guy. Staple guy. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> he was a one and done. I don't think he had more than one issue. I don't think we heard this guy again. Staple man. Well, you have a, you have a three year old daughter. Is it Nyella? Do I have that correct? Nyella, you're Nyella. good. You, you're Thank really you good, much. man. Thank but you. Um, does she know her dad's a superhero? No, she doesn't. I'm, I'm her little gopher, is what I am. I mean, <laughs> Honestly, she's like six years old mentally. She gets up and she takes me. When we go to the car, she gives me the checklist. She's like, Dad, you know, uh, did you have my, my, my water bottle? Do you have my snacks, my crackers? Buckle me up, Dad. I mean, she tells me everything. Your three year old's doing this? My three year old. She tells you me everything. You are in big trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in huge she's trouble. She's bossing you around at Already. age three. Already. The other day she told me, she said, Dad, that's, that's not very respectable what you're saying to me. She said that. She says, "Wait, what did not... you say? What did you say to her?" Uh, she had me because it wasn't. I, 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 <laughs> she had what me. What did you say? I, I just raised my voice. She said, "She said, Dad, that's not how you talk to me, or something like that." And I'm going, um, "Well, technically speaking, you're right, but because I'm your father, I should be able to just say whatever." I, she caught me. I didn't know what wow, to say. She had me. I was argument. completely stumped. I was because stumped. I said so. Was because I said so. It worked on me. That's what you used to use back in the 80s, because I said so. You didn't know when I was Are you, are you a younger brother, older brother? I'm the baby. You're the baby, baby of? A four. 
Four, okay. Yeah, yeah four. So you got, must have gotten away with a lot. Oh, my mom was so tired by the time I came along. <laughs> so tired. The top three just wore her down? Wore out. I was the mistake. I came along, she was 36, and it was like a whoops thing, right? And I kind of got... Surprise. Let's so, say surprise. Oh, okay, sorry. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah. surprise. yeah. So I got, I got away with a lot of things because she was just tuckered out. She was just tuckered out. She couldn't, couldn't, keep, it, couldn't keep track of me. She I'm the last of 11, and my mother was oh. the same way. My mother, my mother, <laughs> my mother said she was so tired that at the end of the day, she would just go, 10 fingers, 10 toes, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh it was God. so nice to meet you. Pleasure, Thank you man. so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Luke Cage, season two, premieres tomorrow on Netflix. My culture, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Deb Kennedy.